everyone. It's time again for another episode of In the Mail. As you know by now, the YouTube coin community has many amazing channels that put out lots of cool videos on a regular basis, lots of opportunities for buying, selling, trading, lots of giveaways as well. You just got to take the time to look around and meet some others. Um, no giveaways this time in the mail call, but I've been lucky enough to meet some friends and do a couple trades and got a other, couple other pieces of mail here. Um, so it's once again time to do some shout outs and uh, show you what I've received. Remember, all the channels that we mention in every episode, uh, I put the links to their channels in the description below. So if you want to take the time to check them out and show them some support, that would be amazing. Uh, first up, we have mail from Jay Parker. Silver Stacker. Uh, Jay Parker is a collector stacker of gold and silver bullion. Uh, has lots of cool videos showing off new purchases and the new pickups, not just from online sources, but uh, local coin shop pickups as well. Um, and here's what we got. Nice card there. Nice flag card. Cool. And we got some stickers. And even cooler, I got two stickers. I always like to get an extra so that means I get to give one away now too. Uh, hey Michael, here's my sticker. Enjoy. Thanks a lot for the support of my channel. Jay Parker Silver Stacker. And there's the sticker here. We'll show that up close. Jay Parker Silver Stacker. Very nice. Thank you for that. Um, hopefully I already sent you my sticker. Um, I took a quick look in my email and I didn't see anything about you sending me your address. And as you see here, I have already cut your address off here, so I didn't show it in the video. Um, maybe that's oops. <laughs> um, just to let everybody know, I don't keep a record of who I send stickers to and who I don't. Um, so if you have not gotten my sticker, Jay Parker Sil Silver Stacker, please let me know and I'll make sure to get that right out to you. Um, I just can't remember, because right, I know this has been, uh, had this for a few weeks now before I got around to shooting this mail call. but. Um, Anyway, thanks again for the sticker trade, um, and hopefully uh, I did my end of the trade, and if not, we will get that taken care of soon. Thank you again. Next up, we got mail from Sheree Ward, right here. Uh, Sheree Ward does all sorts of coin videos, very active in the YouTube coin collecting community. Uh, you'll often see her supporting other channels with shout outs and participating in many live streams out there. And uh, we, we uh, recently did a sticker trade. So let's see what we get. Another nice card there. Thank you so much. And we'll see what we got here. Thank you, my friend, for your amazing content and videos. I appreciate all you do. Thanks for sending me your stickers. Here are mine. So we'll take a look at that first. And there is your reward stickers. Again, I like getting multiple stickers so I can give one away eventually when I start getting around to giving away stickers and I'm starting to get a nice collection there. Um, I can't say I really love that M for Michigan, though. Uh, um, for those of you who don't know, I went to college at the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana, and uh, we didn't really like Michigan too much there. Well, or any other team that was in the Big Ten for that matter, so go Illini. <laughs> um, also... Cherie sent a nice coin here, and it says here, I found this set in a box hunt. Thought maybe an upgrade for your book, possibly, or just a keepsake. Well, it's a nice 1961 Denver, brilliant uncirculated, lots of red color. And um, I'm sure I got an album that this will fit in and upgrade. Absolutely. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, Cherie Ward. All right, next up we have mail. Just says JW there in the top corner, but we all know that's JW's Coins and Hobbies. Um, we've had mail from Joseph Worrell, who's the JW of J JW's Coins and Hobbies. Uh, we've had mail from him before in a previous episode. Uh, so you probably already know he has a really fun channel that you should already be following. Um, he does lots of coin roll searching, hosts roll searching box battles where different people get up there and compete against each other. Um, he also recently passed his 1,000 subscribers and even did a 24-hour non-stop live stream on coin roll searching. Pretty amazing. Um, you'll remember that I was just part of his 20-channel uh, giveaway that he hosted uh, not too long ago for his OG22 Discord group. 
Um, and what I'm getting here is a thank you card. So we'll take a look at that. Thank you. It says, thank you for your support in the giveaway, and thank you for donating. JW, and he's got his OG22 stamp there. And it looks like he, as a token of his thanks, he sent a little piece of silver here. And that's tiny enough. I'll pull up the microscope, and we'll get a close look at that. How about that? Look at that. A nice little John F. Kennedy little silver piece there and in the back it says it's one gram of 999 fine silver very nice really appreciate that I was glad to be a part of your giveaway I wasn't expecting that but thank you very much all right so that's that there next up we got mail I just cut off the address a little bit too much there. It just says HTF, but we really we know that's supposed to be SHTF, and that's stack or sorry, scrapping, hoarding, tinkering, fun. And um, scrapping, hoarding, tinkering, fun was in one of my very early mail call videos. Uh, right after I got my stickers made up, uh, he was one of the first that we did a sticker trade with. So some of you might remember seeing that. Um, and I could give you a rough idea of the sorts of stuff you'll see on their channel, but really the name pretty much says it. Scrapping, hoarding, tinkering, and fun. Um, and really in the channel description, I do a real good uh, summary of it. They say linking some common ideas that run under one banner. Scrapping electronics, hoarding silver, tinkering with all types of stuff, and just some plain old fun doing it all. Um, so I, I just always thought that was cool. And uh, we recently got this in the mail, and I wasn't expecting anything from them, so it was kind of a surprise when I got it. And um, let's take a look. We got some coins here. And these were in some flips taped on here, but I took them out already so I could show them to you a little better without having to deal with the flips and the tape. But um, And I'll get those back into some flips right after this. It says, Dear Michael, for the man with all the coins except these, your friend Scrapping. Well, I mean, I appreciate the thought there, the man with all the coins. I don't have all of them, but I don't, I didn't have these either, because these here are some really cool off-center error coins, and as we know, all error coins are completely unique, so I didn't have these, but now I do have these, so I guess I do have them. <laughs> anyway, these are really cool. What they are, it's a off-center cent, an off-center nickel, and an off-center dime. And they're severely off-center, as you can see. And it's cool that they're all the same date. They're all 1993 Philadelphias. And let's get the microscope up and take a close look at these, because these are really cool. I'll get that up for us. And look at that. And you can tell it's, you know, the zinc with the copper plating, because when there's any mistakes or errors like that, the copper plating is so thin that it exposes some of the underlying zinc. But... Just look at how off-center that is. That's just amazing. And what's cool about these, I mean, you can have off-center coins and, you know, it happens. It's, you know, when you make billions of coins, especially for the cents, you know, every now and then mistakes happen. But not always is the date right right in the middle of it. Usually, you know, there's a more uh, greater chance that the date's not even going to be there. And you won't know what date it is. So that's really cool. A 1993 Philadelphia. And also in this group is a nickel again look how off center that is so you can see just the bottom part but you can see the date 1993 P very very cool and then to go with it is one more and it's the dime again way more than 50 percent at least 75 percent I would guess off center on these and, uh, again, 1993 Philadelphia. That's just really fun. So, yeah, I mean, again, the dime, the nickel, and the cent. And, again, I really wasn't expecting any of this. This just came in the mail out of the blue, and I really appreciate it. It's just an awesome thought, and uh, um, really thankful to have gotten these. And uh, definitely be keeping these in my collection and probably taking them to my next coin club meeting for our uh, show and tell that we do because I'm sure others would like to see these as well and now I'm going to be hunting down the you know for a quarter and maybe a half dollar to kind of round out the set but again 
thank you very much and be, be sure to check out scrapping hoarding tinkering fun again just like everybody else the links will be in the description below and uh we got one more in this group for the mail call and you'll see here it's uh we all know him sheldon herring wexler well you should know him because we recently featured sheldon in a uh, episode of in the mail where we did a sticker trade and again you should be following him already but if you're not he's a really good guy out of honolulu hawaii big time supporter of many channels in the youtube collecting community and a wonderful supporter of the hobby in general anyways we were recently chatting via text not too long ago about stickers and who out there in the community has stickers that we like and what kind of quality you can get where you get good deals the cost all things related to stickers um, you guys know that I have my stickers here. I got them made up by Sticker Mule. I put a link to Sticker Mule in the description below too if you guys are interested in ordering. If you use that link, we each save 10 bucks on our next order. No pressure for that though. But if you got my stickers and like them, well, you know where to, uh, where to, get, where to get those now. And, uh, but, they are, but they're not the cheapest out there. Um, but anyway, we were talking back and forth. He was talking about his stickers. I was talking about mine and some of the others. And um, he was asking me what I thought about Cajun Coin Hunters recently, because he's got a really cool sticker. Um, and as we know, Cajun talks about his stickers on his streams, and he had his done up for a fraction of the cost of what I pay for mine. But when we were talking about him, I told Sheldon that I really liked Cajun's design and the look of his sticker, but I didn't have one of Cajun's stickers in hand, so I couldn't compare with it. And well, right then and there, Sheldon just couldn't believe that I didn't have one of Cajun Coin Hunters stickers, so. Um, he just went ahead and he hooked me up with one, so because he said he had an extra. So here's what we got from Sheldon, and he got it wrapped in some cardboard here. And as the famous Roy Driscoll would say, he would go "Boomba!" There it is, all the way from Louisiana to Honolulu, Hawaii, and now to Los Angeles. The Cajun Coin Hunter sticker. <laughs> awesome Sheldon thank you very much for that and now that I have the sticker for my collection um, I do think it's a pretty great sticker for the price I really love the design with it um, that said I ordered a bunch of these from sticker mule so I'll be giving these out for quite a while so before I even think of ever making a change on mine um, that's that's a little ways down the road I think um, so I'll be sticking with these from sticker mule for the time being um, Anyway, thanks again, Sheldon. His li the link to uh, Sheldon's channel is in the description below as well. Again, thanks everyone for watching. If any of you out there also want to send me anything for future episodes of In the Mail, just like always, my address is in the description below. Um, I really appreciate all of your support, and until next time, keep having fun with your collections.